Okay, so our next anti-pattern, the slow test. This is something we've touched on before when talking about our test principles. He says we want tests to be able to run quickly so that developers are in a position to run these tests all the time. Every time they're making a change, they should be able to run a test and make sure they haven't broken any existing functionality at all. Now, tests should be fast to run, fast to pass in normal conditions, but they should also be fast to fail. So you don't want to test that's relying on some resource perhaps on the system or doing some network operation. It might be normally quick to run, but let's say under failure conditions it might take two minutes to time out. And this is almost as bad as having a test that's slow to pass in the first place. It can really slow down your, your progress, particularly if you get a test failure and you're trying to work out exactly what's going on, why it's failing. So the idea is keep tests quick to run and run them as frequently as often as you can.